and they put a load of holes in my head and they put the little the follicles in my hair. In this video, I'm going to tell you why I went from losing my hair to having a hair transplant where I've now decided to shave it off. Why I did it, why I went through the whole ordeal on would I do it again, etc, etc. So let's go. If you haven't already, don't forget to smash that like button, press the subscribe one. My story of hair transplants and if I would do it again and who should really do it again. When I hit like mid twenties, I started going thin on top. Yes, thin on the old noggin. I'm not the best looking guy. I got, I'm losing my hair, single. I wanted to be an actor, I thought, I'm not going to get anywhere, am I, at this, at this rate. And we found, then I found out, obviously, about all these different footballers who um, were having hair transplants. They spent forty, fifty thousand pounds to get to get intricate little um, hair follicles taken out the out the, the side of the head and everything like that and put on top to make them have some hair. Uh, and I thought, oh, I ain't got forty thousand pounds, but I wonder if there's, if there's another option. So basically, I was having a, um, a meltdown. <laughs> meltdown. Yep, ten days I was. I, it kind of was. I googled how should I get my hair back. I tried various different um, chemicals that they do, foam things, and like Alpacin hair shampoo. All these different ones that try. It. Apparently, they said they said they were there to um, to promote the growth of your hair mold it again but it's a load of rubbish anyone who says they work they don't work so i went online and found a company in birmingham that uh, um that said they cut a strand out of the back of your head which i'll show you a picture of it and then they see they sew your hair your, your, your head up again um and so i've got a scar on the back of my head and then they take all the follicles and split them into one strand, two strand, three strands, and so on. Whatever, whatever strands are in each follicle. Numb my, numbed my head, and they put a load of holes in my head, and they put the little the follicles in my hair. And I had I had a tuft there, and I had nothing all there. So I looked like a right knob with um one one quiff here and there, and a, not much hair there. So I basically had. I had a bit of hair there on top still, so I just had my I just had my uh, my quiff and my what's it called my fringe tied in. It grew and then I started combing it over. Um, as it grew and it actually grew, as I'll show you the pictures, it grew quite looking quite decent. It kind of made me look a bit younger than I was. I got a bit of work, and I met my girlfriend now wife, and then. Basically, it was getting started to thin out again. So, I found this place in Birmingham, as I said. Um, I had the strip cut out the back of my head. I fell min. I I got a, I got a, a girlfriend now, a wife. I had hair. It was great. I was happy. Comb over. Then it started thinning again. And I was like, God damn it! This is supposed to be last forever doesn't last forever just the way i'm just what i'm saying now then i was on my motorbike and i kept it whenever i took it off it the hair just went Poof. and then whenever it was raining it looked, looked like a like a drowned rat and then as we all know the pandemic the pandemic the pandemic covid19 that happened all hairdressers had gone it had closed they couldn't do it um, so I was like, right, I'm going thin on top. I can't get my hair cut. It's summer. Shall I just shave it all off? The hair transplant after it lasted about five years, six years maybe, and then it started thinning again. I thought that's a waste of time. So on the pandemic, I just went right, shave all my hair off, and. I just and then ever since then that was two in twenty twenty when it happened when when pandemic happened and now twenty twenty four, and my wife actually prefers me like this bald. I shave it. It's neither. I need to cut. I need to cut my hair now, but it just looks better. 
a lot better bald uh, it seems I, and um, I, don't really, I would have got to can get it done again I don't even know if there's any point I couldn't get all that filled in with uh, with that I mean I've got some little bits of sprigs of hair but I, just, I don't know what I would do really um, but the hair is gone still little sprigs that come up really soft sprigs that come up because it's not completely bald but I just shave all that down to a zero all that down to a one so I don't um, so I look half normal even though I don't anyway um, it's been a lot easier I don't have to go to the, to the hairdressers just shave it off or get my wife to shave it off for me it's easier to be done um, she's happy I'm kind of happy um, and that's the way it is basically I go and do it again no now I have a scar on the back of my head where you'll see the picture of it which is always gonna be there I can't get rid of it don't like it but what can I do this is what is part of me now um, eventually it'll be gone when I'm dead obviously um, if I could have done, I would have I would have shaved it off originally, back in the day. Just gone, gone, gone bald, bald and proud. I wouldn't have spent four grand off it, a grand on it, because it was the point. Um, if you've got just a little bit receding lines there or whatever, get your hair transplant done. It'll be cheap from from Turkey, Istanbul, or wherever it is, or I don't know where it is. It, uh, I think I took I think I took the plunge too early when there when there wasn't enough information wasn't enough people doing it now there's now it's more than 10 maybe 12 years since i had it done um, technology has progressed so it's probably better that was my uh, situation um, i'm quite happy with the bald head now it's just easier to maintain people who have hair they have to cut the hair all the time maintain it style it to make them look nice no one really gives a shit if you look nice with loads of hair or not Realistically, if you, if everybody um, had to shave the head off and everyone was basically bald, no one really gives two hoots. Anyone who cares whether you bought if you're bald or not is very um, is an asshole. Any girl who's like, "Oh, I wish I had her," is very is very vain. Just to get over it. Um, if you don't have hair, people will just get used to the fact you don't have hair. It's easier to just shave your head off, shave your hair off and be done with it. Um, I hope this is informative for you. Um, I'm just one of the one of the hundreds, maybe probably one of the millions of people who have got bald heads. Uh, if, you, if you're lucky enough to have hair, good on you. If you're not, just go bald, bald and proud. That's what I'm doing now. Quite happy with bald. Well, I can't really be not happy with it because I, I can't do it. I'm, I'm bald. Um, but if you like this video, please smash that like button. It helps the algorithm if you'd be so kind as to, to um, subscribe as well. I've got some more videos coming. Thanks again for watching. I hope this helps you. I hope this changes anybody's uh, thoughts on, oh, I can't be bald because everyone can be bald. There's nothing wrong with it. It's a lot easier to deal with your hair. You just have to put sun cream on your head. That's all when you go on a holiday or when you're out and about. It's not that big a deal, is it? Or you wear a hat, boom, like most people wear hats anyway. So yeah, like I said, thanks again for watching and I'll see you all soon. Thanks again and uh, what can I say? Let's get it.